Hi guys, my name is Valerie and I'm a real Prague guide. Real because I am a licensed tour guide in Prague. And in this video, I'm going to share my top 30 things to do in Prague, especially if it's your first time visiting. Even if it's your second time, you will still enjoy this video because you probably don't remember much since you had a lot of Czech beer. Anyway, let's go to our number one Prague castle. Prague Castle is the largest ancient castle complex in the world, according to Guinness Book of World Records. This is where the history of Prague and Bohemia started, so it is definitely a must-see. One building you have to see the interiors of in the castle is St. Vitus Cathedral. You can see two front chapels for free, but the rest of the cathedral requires a ticket. Speaking of which, Prague Castle is free to visit, but you have to have a ticket to enter certain buildings, for example St. Vitus Cathedral or Old Royal Palace. We highly recommend only getting the tickets here in the castle at the official cash desks. Please be very careful with buying tickets online, because there is a bunch of fraudulent websites that will be selling those tickets for twice as much, including services that don't exist. For example, skip the line. Skipping the line in the castle is only possible for the guides to buy tickets to the attractions. It is not possible to skip the line to enter the attractions. Our third recommendation is a quiet little neighborhood called Malastrana, aka the lesser town, where every corner is photo worthy. We recommend visiting four sites in the lesser town. St. Nicholas Church, famous for its gorgeous frescoes that will make your head spin. Campa Island, an oasis of relaxation and art of the lesser town. We will talk about art a bit later. John Lennon Wall, the monument to freedom of speech and fight against communism. We made a whole video about the wall, its history and controversy surrounding it. The Trin Tower, aka miniature Eiffel Tower of Prague. It has two platforms, one outside, one inside. By the way, you do need a ticket to enter. And if you are as lucky as we are, the elevator will be broken and you will have to walk up the stairs. You are gonna do a lot of walking in Prague and the best way to replenish your energy is of course eating Czech traditional food. We made the whole video about the dishes that you should try when you are visiting Prague. But in short, Czech traditional food is meat with more meat and a little bit of bread in it. The best match for this one is, of course, Czech beer. Czechs are actually the biggest beer drinking nation in the world. And if you think that it's your nation, you are wrong. And if you want to argue about it, do it in the comments. Make tasting Czech food and water, uh, I mean beer, your number one priority. And set out for a new adventure in the old town of Prague with a full stomach. Old Town is the heart of Prague, and that heart beats to its own drum. We made so many videos about sites of the Old Town, its historical events and curious facts, yet never came close to covering everything we wanted. Nowadays, Old Town is pretty much taken over by tourists. You can find hidden quiet corners there as well, but that is for another video. What is the most famous site of the Old Town you should visit? Astronomical clock, obviously. This mind-blowing mechanism has been counting time since 1410. Václav can teach you how to read it, and I can tell you why people still argue if the clock is overrated. What you need to do is to watch the astronomical clock show at least once. If you want to beat the crowds, go to the earliest one at 9 am. If you are not traveling to Prague on Christmas or Easter, when a seasonal market occupies every square, head to the oldest still working market of the Old Town, which opened in 1232, Havel's Market. Not everything there is traditional, but you can still find some interesting things you can get as souvenirs. Another area in the Old Town we recommend visiting is Josefov, or Jewish Quarter. It is basically a giant museum situated inside of synagogues, so you can spend half of your day exploring and learning about the history of one of the most preserved Jewish quarters in Europe. 
you should also try to find the statue of its most famous resident, Franz Kafka, who was born in Prague and lived here most of his life. A surprising fact to some of you who didn't watch our new video about Franz Kafka. If you did, you know that Franz Kafka enjoyed spending his time at cafes. And that is another thing you should do in Prague. Pick a coffee place that you like, we made a list of the most beautiful ones, and enjoy your warm drink. And no, it's not being lazy, it's a cultural pastime. My next recommendation is an unpopular opinion. Despite what people say, the touristy Old Town Square is worth looking at. If you ignore the crowds and the trumpery of souvenir stores, you will be able to enjoy its amazing architecture. Let's look at some beautiful buildings on the square. We have Gothic House of the Stone Bell. Some historians even say that Charles IV was born in this house. Next to it, we have Goldskinski Palace. It is built in Baroque style of architecture with Rococo decorations. Gorgeous, kind of looks like a cake, but it's a vibe. On this side of the square, we have a lot of smaller buildings. People always ask us what it is. It used to be a publishing house and a bookstore. Oh. This was not an attack. Uh, of course, you can see the beautiful Gothic Teen Church. It's a very iconic building for this square. And the opposite side of the square, we have a yellow building that sticks out. This is now used by the Ministry of Interior Development. Again, looks like a cake, which we don't mind because we like cakes. Speaking of cakes and pastries, we recommend tasting at least one traditional Czech pastry. Check out our video to learn about the most delicious ones. The three pillars of Prague tourism are Astronomical Clock, Prague Castle and the romantic Charles Bridge. And no, we are not filming this video on Christmas and that's why it's so busy. It is that busy pretty much every day. Whatever you want to see, you will see on this bridge. Dogs without leashes, children crying, their parents climbing the statues with no sight of police or order. Just pure chaos. Just how I like it. We recommend and dare you to get up at 5 a.m. to see this bridge relatively empty. It will be just you, the runners and the photographers. Good luck waking up and beating the crowds. If you are wondering where are we, because this is one of the unique views of the Charles Bridge, we are on the lesser town tower of the Charles Bridge. And yeah, we still have to climb it. And our next tip for you guys is of course, find one of those towers that you can climb. I mean, there are many. You can take an elevator on top of the tower of the Old Town Hall and have the iconic view of the Old Town Square from there. You can also climb another tower of the Charles Bridge on the opposite side. And this is how the view will look like from there. This tower is often overlooked, but let's go up and see what the view is gonna be like. Last time I've been here, I got into trouble uh, because I scolded a guy who was scratching his and his girlfriend's initials on the tower. And uh, yeah, I thought that he will defenestrate me, but luckily I survived. Let's look at something different. Wenceslas Square was a background for many historical events. You will like it if you enjoy modern architecture. It is a business district though, but if you are here, make sure to say hi to Saint Wenceslas, the patron saint of Czech lands. And if you have time, visit the National Museum. It is famous for its large collection of exhibits and its stunning interiors. If you are a sucker for gorgeous old rooms that look like Beauty and the Beast cartoon, we recommend visiting Strahov Library. Bell would approve. Please remember that the basic entrance ticket doesn't cover the tour of the libraries. You will see them only from the threshold. You can also see the rest of Strahov Monastery and visit its famous brewery to taste St. Norbert beer. And check out their viewpoint. Now let's kill two birds with one stone. Save our feet and do another top thing on our list. Take a tram, the most famous Prague vehicle. But before you do, make sure to watch our video about mistakes tourists make while using public transport. We don't want you to get fined. You will need to use public transport to get to our next spot. It is located on the edge of the city center. Visegrad Fortress. I always emphasize that it is a fortress because nothing much survived from the former Visegrad castle. Today it is a nice park with historical cemetery and the cool views of the city center. 
right below Vyshegrad, you can find an extremely popular hangout spot, Naplavka. If weather allows it, grab a drink here. Following the riverbank line, you will get to the dancing house. Your next top thing to do is to dance in front of the dancing house. Now we are in the new town. We made a whole video about this place and what to see here. Among new town sites, you will find this statue, the rotating head of Franz Kafka by David Czerny. Which brings me to our next recommendation. Prague is famous for its beautiful architecture and art. So our next top thing to do in Prague for you guys is to try find statues of David Czerny. They're sort of scattered all over the city center. You will find giant sculptures of babies that look like abortion survivors. You will see two men peeing on the contour of the Czech Republic. Clearly speaks of the author's love for his homeland, right? Or is it Sigmund Freud, who is hanging on the last thread of the passing millennium. Or this, the embryo. I know, what the f But that is the question that you often ask yourself when you see statues of David Czerny. If you have a spare day on your Prague vacation and you already have seen enough of sites, or you have kids and wondering where to take them, I recommend visiting Prague Zoo. You can spend the whole day exploring it. Just don't visit on a public holiday to avoid the crowds. A bonus thing to do if you are lost in Prague or missing some company, we are happy to help because we run free tours every day. Go to our website to sign up and explore Prague with my wonderful, smart, funny and charming friends and colleagues. I swear they didn't make me say that. See you guys in Prague. Bye!